Hello and welcome back to Overcrowd. We're back in Lubdun Town Metro. See what you did there. It's a big day today, isn't it? Collendale is our destination, our first Zone 4. Lots of uh, new challenges await us there. I went back and played North Harrow for one more day without the uh, terrible trash problem that we had to deal with. And we got five stars again. I didn't have to do anything. However, I did toy with a few things that you suggested. Which we'll cover when we go to Collendale. Shall we do it? Here we are. A fresh map. We have tracks underground. Now, we're not going to start with those. The reason being, it'll be expensive to put the stairs in. What do we have? Struggle Road. I believe that's underground by the looks of things. That's our main entrance. Given that, we are indeed possibly going to need to go underground. Although, this is an above floor entrance, isn't it? So we could have this as our main area. Lots to think about. Can we do it? Only one way to find out. Should we get building? We'll get our entrance in there. There we go. And that shows us that we can go underneath here. From what I can remember, platforms can't cross each other even if they're on a different level. So we're going to have to be careful about how we do that. These two are busy. The silver the silver and yellow line and the navy line is the least busiest. So we want to prioritise this line and this line. That's really awkward, isn't it? Because ideally you'd have this one go all the way over there. <laughs> yeah. And then this one start from there. Well, we could start from... Middle Street, that's got a lot of space, hasn't it? Do you know, I kind of like that idea better. Undo that. It doesn't cost us anything. Uh, we're going to need to rotate this. Change of plan, guys. We're going to start here. The reason being, I would like this to be a shorter line, ideally. I mean, we have to choose one side or the other, don't we? This does have a long run-up up here. Am I going to change my mind again? No, no, you're not. <laughs> or are you? See, that's long enough, and then it frees this up. We could just focus everything over here, couldn't we? Although doing this gets us directly into here, and we don't have to worry about this at all. And just start off underground. There we go. Accidentally figured it, guys. That was the least best bit of planning I've ever done. Anyway, there we go. That's how we'll start. What do we have to remember? If this is an entrance, we've got an entrance over there, over there. Wherever our main entrances are, or the places where people congregate are, need to be well away from our heat producing elements. Given that, I would like this uh, to be the full length here. Should we buy all of this? We're gonna have to be really careful with our money to start off with. What we don't need is that back section, do we? We can get rid of all of that. I say we get rid of this and this as well. There we go. We're going to concentrate solely on our first little area. Staff rooms can be out the way. How much money have we got? 8,520. We're going to need enough to do everything. Let's get our first platform. We can only place two platforms. Good point. Good point. Uh, that's pricey. Do we need it that big? Yeah, why not? Why not? That will allow us up to four carriages. I like that. Nice and easy. This is the platform side. The boarding. And the lighting. Although what we're going to need to do eventually is have a bridge over there. But let's concentrate. Don't get carried away. We'll need an entrance. Let's leave a bit of room, shall we, for ticket machines as well. They're going to be this side. I do like the idea of having it segregated like we had before, though. They're going to need a lot of things from the get-go. I've not left us a lot of room for our turnstiles, have I? Well, what do they prefer? Like, two spaces for the platform? I think any more than that is possibly too much. We can have seats in then, as well. We're going to have to cordon that off, which will be expensive. But we could have the turnstile. Well, we could have it at the back, couldn't we? 
and then have them exit and leave immediately which leaves us a bit of room here so let's get them a bit more room up this side for the ticket machines we'll cordon it off down the center here uh yes I, I sort of like it the hardest thing about starting a new station is where where do you start how do you lay things out it's also the fun bit though and then it all starts to come together hopefully let's get us a ticket machine in it anyway so that we know what we're dealing with actually oh we can't see the procurements yet until we start ticket machine level one if we have these immediately after the uh, entrance here i do like that idea because there's plenty of room here isn't there so that would go there we'd need level two turnstiles that's what we'll go with take you straight into the platform from the entrance and then we'll exit up this end i think but we could exit there couldn't we we don't need any of that up there yes exit there what why not that works, doesn't it? Right, infrastructure. We're going to need some fencing, which are pricey, to say the very least. Okay, we've got the fence in. This is all cordoned off now. No sneaky jumping the fence. Well, it wouldn't be difficult, would it? I don't recommend it, though, because uh, our team will be on the case, our staff. So that's the platform one. This one is the exit. So we've got that done. That's the basics. We need power, obviously. We need to uh, keep this far, far away from where our people are congregating as well. Uh, ideally, I would like it across there, but that means building a bridge. Can I afford this? I would like it all the way to this back wall, if possible. It's pricey. We don't have to hire staff because we can use our existing staff for that yes this will give us a little room over here which will be well out of the way of everything we don't need it too big right infrastructure so our utility room is going to be up here and i guess we should expand it as needed uh, we don't want to go overly big do we as you go massive but what we should do is leave a bit of room door can go there let's leave what should we say two spaces for that i guess we could spread them out and just have this room here and have another one over there so all the heat isn't in one place i'm thinking we're going to get more staff as well so a tall room that also generates heat that could no you're doing the same one again <laughs> don't do two utility rooms tall room can go here i think would be lovely that would give you space for one. That should give us space for two, I think. We'll put that there. And then our staff room can be back here. I don't think that generates much heat, though. I don't feel like massive tool rooms are the way to go. I feel like accessible tools should be spread across the uh, station rather than focused in one area. That way you can split up. And when you expand, you can almost do a similar layout to what we've got here. So this side would have its own tools and utilities and staff room. I do want to put a control room in as well at some point. We've spent a small fortune already. Luckily, we don't have to worry about stairs. I don't think they're too expensive. Well, that's quite pricey. But we are going to visit in this station our control room and what that does right lighting is going to be important but so is power otherwise we're getting nothing done let's go into utilities make sure we've got enough power how much are we going to need does it say not yet yeah we're going to have to hit play for that to happen well let's get them in in the far corner i'm going to start with three i'd like to hit play but, uh, well, I guess what we could do... Can we open this? Open. There we go. Open that. Then we'll wait a couple of seconds. Right, people are in. Now, pause it. Has that updated all the information? There we go. Power drain currently 2.98 watts. This is going to be tight, isn't it? During the pause phase, what we can do is get everybody back on board. We have two new people. And they do cost money. 
this is what we wanted to check and it's free to uh, hire these people that we already have these people my staff my lovely staff we've got Erisay, ben watford and wobbly they actually leveled up in that day after the end of that episode look at wobbly's people skills dear oh dear 95 percent you're almost like the perfect people person <laughs> that's not hard to say yeah but there you go it seems that hourly rate changes perhaps depending on their skill i mean there's definitely some focus to be had here everybody's just kind of decent at refuge watford might be high on it if that is what refueling is classed as so anyway should we hire them we don't want to hire too many to start with i'm gonna say we need a good mix people skills is probably good right to get it going make them happy with your megaphone wobbly and watford is going to be on uh repair by the looks of things and and filling up the generators so right we'll get wobbly and we'll get watford in there we will hire more people later it's not going to happen straight away though we did get some money back for opening that's something to always bear in mind right commerce we could get some ads in couldn't we uh such as what ads do we have newspaper stand we're gonna have to put in is that too far away i don't know the range of these to be fair we'll put one there and we'll put one there eventually they're gonna have these things we'll have our newspaper stand maybe up in this corner here well the flags are in the wrong place that's for sure uh yeah well, i need to move your flags let's not have you there wobbly first you are people person so i'd like you to well probably hang around here watford who can see the world and hang up there i do feel like we need another exit our staff have got to do a terrible journey around otherwise we could have a break here and then put a staff only zone which reminds me this area here needs to be staff only doesn't it which is infrastructure let's put that there and there 10 quid was that that's pricey i'm definitely saying we're gonna need another generator we're obviously going to need fuel cans as well. But I don't think that would cut it. Right, let's get the fuel in. I don't think we should spend money on a capacitor just yet. Because, well, I mean, they're not expensive. Perhaps, perhaps it might be a good idea. Well, let's get the other essentials in first. We need our staff to be very, very happy. Right, let's get them a TV. I mean, it's a big old room, this, isn't it? Let's get him a couple of comfy chairs to watch TV. There we go. I don't know what this is at the back here. I guess we could have a medicine cabinet. I don't know yet. Water cooler. Yes, we'll have this over by the door. And then the vending machine next to it. There we go. How are we doing on power is the main thing. Okay, plenty of overhead on the power. So a generator would be nice. What else do we need? Obviously, tools of the trade is where money's just vanished litter picker upper that's going to be the first thing a jerry can definitely are we going to run out of money i hope not wobbly's megaphone oh i like this you can fit them either side of the wall megaphone is in the money is dropping uh mop well toolkit is a must isn't it as well 200 dear oh dear i hope they start buying tickets soon we haven't even got any lighting oh my days what am i doing it's so difficult i guess the rest of it we're gonna have to be reactionary i would like some lights in here how much are lights gonna cost us oh you need a wheelie bin that's a must otherwise uh should i put them close to the door yes because this area is staff only isn't it not enough money that's it that's all we've got that's all she wrote dear oh dear what what have i done is this going to be enough i feel like i might have overdone it with the floor space possibly well wish me luck guys 
Oh, well, there's no toilets yet. We have a couple of ads. Did we get a newspaper stand in? That does make a bit of money. Uh, where is that? Commerce. Cash machine. 225. Newspaper stand. 175. Oh, dear. Can we at least fit in any lights? Facilities, right? How much are these? 75. One. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, okay. One light. That's what we can, that's what we can have. There. Brilliant. Right, how's the power doing? Okay, right. So it tells you here, minimum power needed 4.04 kilowatts. Power reserve 3.75 kilowatts. Max capacitance 5 kilowatts. Should we try it? We've got no bins, no, ch no chairs. <laughs> it's not looking good. Oh dear. Right, I'm going to hit play. I don't think there's anything we can do about it, guys. As soon as they buy stuff, I guess we should start thinking about having, uh, I don't know, something. It's bare, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. People are looking at these. I don't know why they're going to stand in the corner there. We'll wait on our first train. Rush hour, yeah. Here we go, then. Careful, don't cross the line. There, wobbly's on the case. Brilliant. Let's get the train in. Oh, it took an entire episode just to set up the basics of the station. What do you reckon, guys? Should I set the basics up beforehand and then we'll just go over it as people walk in in future? That might be a good idea. Or do you like my umming and ari? It's, it's a thing I do a lot of. We are getting money. I'm going to leave uh, the ticket prices as is, I think, to start with, is the best bet. Yeah, they're going to have to be picking up litter manually. There we go, he's picking up the litter. But we'll put bins down when we can afford them. Right, we have a bit of money. Facilities. Get us them trash cans. Level two. Now, here's the thing, right? 15 pieces versus 10 double the price but then it's less emptying isn't it we could upgrade them later i i say we start with baby stars baby stars not to be confused with baby sharks right get that in there that's a start at the very least let's get our train in we need to make money don't we today that's for sure i will go with the fancy benches and plants as we can afford them I mean, overall, they're going to be quite grumpy to start with, as long as we can deal with what they currently throw at us. I mean, it's it's early days yet, very early days. It's it's going, isn't it? People are using using our new trash can there. So, in the interest of progression for our first day, I let it play. We got rat prods because we got a rat problem. Still got trash issues, however. We have a little bit of money to spend, which is what I wanted to get to, so that we can address some of these early issues. Uh, we've got lighting all the way down. Our power is doing okay. We've got plenty of power. What I need to do is get some beautification in here. We do not want to let our reputation get too low. So let's get in and get some plants in. At least that will make them happy. I'm going to go with level 2 benches because I believe they make them happier. Commuters who sit here gain medium quality rest. And poor, I guess level 3 then, is amazing quality rest. So we'll put some benches down the, uh, down the platform here. There are benches on platforms, right? I think. I don't think we need them up here, really. We could. I'd prefer them in the middle or over here somewhere. I don't really want them sitting down where they're walking. What else could we do with this cash? Oh, you just spent a fortune, Grant. You're not paying attention, are you? It's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. A map is something I would like to see. We could remove this section, couldn't we? So we can place items either side, such as ads. Do you know, it'll give us some money back as well. I sort of like that idea. 
Could we do it? Could we get rid of this? Not... Well... We could move the light. I sort of like that. Do we want to corral them all into that section though? Not really. Maybe just... There? It makes a mess of the lighting is the issue. It means another light possibly. And moving those around. Yeah, I don't like that idea. It would be lovely though, wouldn't it? Perhaps when we've got a bit more money, we'll do that. And then we can have some extra lighting on there. But for now, we're a bit broke. So we're not going to do anything too extravagant. Concentrate on pretties to keep them happy, I think. A newspaper stand. That would be a good thing to have. Commerce. There we go. No, that's the ad for it. Actually put the stand in. Would that? I, I, I would say actually over here would be better, wouldn't it? Away from the uh, entrance. There we go. Newspapers. That will make us some money. Uh, cash machine. So people always have money on them. There we go. Do we have enough energy for all that? I think so. Hit play. There we go. Uh, we're just within limits. About. Oh, it's close, isn't it? It's close. We might need a generator, I think, to allow for stuff like that. Yeah, we do need maps. Except we don't have a concourse wall. It might be better to just get rid of this and turn it into a wall. And that will give us some money back. Hindsight, right? Yeah, that would have been better. I don't know what we'd use this area for. Perhaps just... Well, there's no reason for that to be there. Get that training. We need the money. How do we go moving forward? I'd love to know. Do you want me to plan out the initial station and then just go over it? Or, or should we build it together and watch me struggle? <laughs> I love sharing my thought process. So if you guys are into seeing why I'm doing certain things, that's what this is for. Whether it's the right way to do it, I'm not sure. We're certainly short on cash. It's ne it's nearly closing. There we go. First day over in our new station. It's not too bad. I might have spent too much money. That's the problem we have. 230 quid. And we have to refill everything. Although it's not using much, is it? I feel like we'll be okay. We'll have to check the report though and work on our issues. I certainly like the idea. Here we go. Here we go. What I was going to say is I like the idea of turning this into a wall rather than fencing. It would have saved us a fortune. Litter. Yes. Gloomy. Yeah, there's a lot of problems, isn't there? Toilets. A bad shopping range indeed. I guess we could have a, like a little shopping area for them up here. That's certainly an idea. Yes, later on. We could block this off for now and just get them straight onto the platform because I've I've seen them wandering up and down here, which isn't something we really need. I mean, 145 people got to where they need to be. That's okay. Are we happy with day one? It's a bit rough, isn't it? I almost want to start it again and not do that. How much would this change things? Well, we do get full refund. Right, hang on then. Let's pause it. Let's try plan B because we get a full refund on these. That's lovely, isn't it? What we could do then maybe is have a staff entrancey bit up here, staff only. Or another exit, perhaps. Yes, another exit would be kind of nice and then filter them down there. Our lighting situation would have to change. This is the only issue I've got. Because we get to sell this as well. Like that. And then we can put fans on. On this side and that side. As you can see, it's very dull down there now. So early days, we just cordon this off. We've gained a lot of money. That will that will cover us for our refilling. Beautiful. Okay, let's do it. Let's cordon that off with 
It's in, it is in infrastructure. Yeah, there it is. With that, like that. Unfortunately, wobble is in the way. There we go. That's, that's perfect. Since I don't want people walking down here, what we could do, get rid of one section here and have it as staff only so that the staff can walk up and down that way. Easy. Staff only. There we go. Right. Okay. Not, not too much of an issue then. Are we happier with this? I think I am. I do like that. Hit play. Or was it playing? It might have been playing. Never mind. I couldn't tell everybody was dozing. What are we going to do uh, on day two? Hopefully earn some money. As we earn it, we'll put more beautification down, more facilities, and eventually we'll look to hire these two people that we have here, Ethan and Oliver, who will become Tez Blanchard and Bowtide Engineer. Now, they're the only people I've got left on our list of employees. However, there's a we won't be able to get any more until our next station. So if you do want to come and work for us and join the join the workforce, uh, drop a comment below and I'll add you. Are we happy with our station? I am. It's a good start. We need to sort out that reputation though. We need a, a nice cushion. Our next scenario, it's virus time. Again, so on the nose. But we're shifting people, we're making money, and eventually they're going to be cheerful. That's the plan. We need some maps, which is what that concourse wall down here was. Ooh, do you know what we should look at? How are we doing? That's better. That's better. That's much better. All of our heat is going to be up in this corner, out the way. We've got some heat issues here, so when we can afford a fan and know that we can afford it or a vent, it can go here. Lights are creating some heat, obviously, as well. But that's fine, isn't it? Absolutely fine. We'll see. We'll see in day two just how well we've done for a start. There was there were some rats around. Not too many, though. There was nothing to write home about. It was pretty relaxed first day. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.